CEO essence. <laughs> you thought you were done just with risk, right? That's just one part of her uh, amazing life and career. CEO essence. Was that birthed out of the success of risk? Yes and no. Um, I, I started talking with someone and we started talking about my life and we started talking about um, who I am, what I'm all about, um, realized that there's a lot that I have to offer other women. And so I'm uniquely positioned in my world to be able to help other women in theirs. And I've overcome a lot of things in my, not only in my business, but my personal life in order to, to be able to inspire other women as well. So um, it came from a conversation. Really? Yeah. So out of that conversation, did you have some fear still? Did you have any trepidation? Or were you like gung-ho, all right, that was a good conversation. Let's take the bull by the horns and go forward. Uh, there was I, I think some, I know the answer. There was, uh, there was some fear. Yeah, yeah, um, there, yeah. there was definitely some fear. Which is a good thing, right, for anybody yes. watching. If there was a little fear, that may be time to pause, really think it mm -hmm. out, make sure this is what you want to do. Right. Uh, you know, have everything sort of lined up neatly and not just always jump in right. impulsively, right? Right. So there was definitely some thought um, to it. You know, I had to really look at look at myself, first of all. Did I feel that I had something to offer? And, um, you know, because I just live my life. Yeah, I, I just live my life. It's just, it is what it is. I have a very unique life. Um, I've done some very unique things, um, as, as you know. Um, you know, so for me, I don't... I don't feel like there's anything extraordinary about my life that I can share with other people. And then in this conversation, it was like, well, Renee, but this, and Renee, but that, and Renee, you could teach this, and Renee, what about that? Mm -hmm. And I, I had to really step back and, and think about, okay, so what about my life could I share that would help inspire other people? So when you were this, Renee, you could do this, Renee, you could do that, Renee, you could do this, was that internally in your head or were these other people saying, Renee, you should, could? It, both. All it of was it. both. You were dealing you know, with the so, whole thing. So right? I had, you know, I, I was talking to different people and said, so what do you think of this idea, right? Um, and it was like, well, Renee, you know, when, when you were in this position, you always had all these people coming and asking for your advice and this and that and the other. And I thought, well, yeah. <laughs> right, it's just automatic. Okay. That's, I've had that all my life. Right, right. Yeah. right. Um, so it was a, it was an interesting development for me. Um, the other Aha thing, moment. it was, it was. The other thing for me is that um, I've always been more comfortable around men, and because I'm tall, I'm six foot tall. Uh, I stand out. I'm an outspoken woman. I have always been. Women have always tended to be more judgmental of me. And um, so, you know, it, there was, do I really want to set myself out there for that? Um, but then I realized, okay, maybe it was just a lack of understanding. Maybe there was some fear involved. Maybe there was whatever it was. But yes, I have something that I can help teach other people. That's incredible. So, so how'd you come up with the name CEO Essence? Okay. Is it the essence of Renee? Right? No, it's it's essence of us as a women. Okay, so tell so, us about that. So yeah. I work in a male-dominated industry, um, gas and oil, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I had to learn as a CEO in this industry how I could be in my essence as a woman and still be competitively viable in the business world. And I think that's something that a lot of women face in a lot of different industries. It's an incredible balancing act. There's, yeah. a, there's a balancing act. I, you know, I mentioned earlier that I didn't want a competitive environment. That's where I came from mm -hmm. because that's not who I am. Right. You know, I needed a, a cooperative environment. By the same token, I think women tend to be the nurturers and we tend to be the caregivers. And so we give so much of ourselves, we don't know when to pull back and say, okay, th this, is, this is my boundary. And so um, the essence of who we are as women in such a way that we can then 
speak our CEO voice mm. and, and be strong and, and resonate, resonate with that. So, so people understand, is it a separate company? Yes. What, what, tell us about it and how it's obviously totally different than risk. Right. Tell yes. us about that. So there are a series of videos that are, um, that are available, and so that's one aspect of it. And then there's some coaching that is another aspect of it. And the videos themselves, tell us about what those are. So the videos themselves talk about listening skills, listening with essence, um, communication skills, decision making, um, you know, um, confidence building, me and, mentoring yeah. other people, yeah. which is a I think a, a challenge for a lot of women. Uh, so things that traditionally might be an uncomfortable place for a woman if they use the male model, mm -hmm. right? Oh, so that's the key, right? To come at it from that angle. Right. Whereas if they learn how to come at it from a more uh, intuitive, more visceral place, then it is a more comfortable place. And it is easier, it is, is less challenging for a woman if they learn how to tap into that in a way that they can then speak their, their truth. So there's a series of, a series of uh, helpful videos. Right. They're sort of like training uh, videos, sort yeah, of? Yeah, so there's some training videos. There's some things that I have learned uh, that I offer as um, solutions. There are questions that I challenge people to face. You do, really? <laughs> you know, yes, uh -oh. there are some, some <laughs> interesting, um, interesting things that people need to, to really look into themselves and, and see. Um, there's, so there's a, there's a training. Yeah, there's a training involved. Uh, so in addition to the, the series of videos, what else is in, in terms of the entire package of CEO Essence? So I also offer coaching, um, coaching some women that are trying to build their businesses and, and they, they feel like, okay, I have the business model, I have, the, I have some of the know-how, so I'm not, I'm not teaching, yeah. you know, yeah. like finance and things like that. That's not my thing. Right. So it's how do, you, how do you tap into those things to bring all of those things together in a manner? Um, so there's the coaching aspect, and then there's some speaking. I have some speaking Speaking engagements, engagements and yes. going into companies as well and helping? Not so or much is it more one-on-one? -on -one? Well, one-on-one -on -one groups. groups, groups. Um, I'll be, in fact, I was just in Brazil last week. <laughs> And I'll be speaking to a group of women down there, a group of women lawyers that have asked me to come in and speak to them.